Hey everyone, how you doing today? This is Gilbert with Interactive Utopia and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different and we're going to be answering a quick technical interview question uh, which you may be asked uh, if you go apply for a development job. Uh, we're going to be doing it in PHP so it might be a little bit of a twist. Normally those questions they're answered like in C++ or other uh, more complex languages but we're going to try to solve them in in PHP all right uh, just wanted to let you know like always if you need any of my code it's gonna be located in my github you can go to github.com forward slash Gilberto Cortez and uh, on a side note don't forget if you like this video please do subscribe to the channel uh, and if you and give it a good thumbs up so let's go ahead and dive into the question so the question is giving any string provide the first occurrence uh, where the character is in there twice uh, so for example you know uh, in this scenario you have a b c a so a is the first character that's twice in there then you have something like b c a b a uh, even though b and a are um, both two times in there b is the first one that that um, that is double on the string and then in the case of like abc then that's that's just gonna be no uh, so how do we answer that well there's two things that you can there's two ways of doing it one is the little bit slower than the other one the first one is to go linearly and you know let's say for example we go to a and then on a we're going to check b c a and maybe you know in this case we see a again so that's going to be the one um on B, we go on B and then we check C, A, B, A, and then on B, that's gonna be the one. Uh, but let, let's say for example, in A, if we go A and then we're gonna check B, C. We didn't find anything. Then we're gonna go to B and then we're gonna find, um, you know we're gonna go to B C uh, so instead of going it through the thing once let's say for example something like um, B C I'm just gonna put a random so where B it's where C is the second one so for example in this case it's gonna be C the answer right so but you would have to go B and then check C A C A okay and then you're like that's not the one then after that you go to C and then you check C A C A and then you're like okay that's the one so but imagine that in this case that's the second um, the second digit in the string but imagine if you have a very long string and it's like almost all the way on the end or something like that then you're gonna be doing it and doing it and doing doing a bunch of loops to try to answer you know to try to find it uh, so there is a quicker way than doing that so I'm just gonna show you the way that I coded the first way uh, which is on doing it on big O and square uh, for as, as far as speed. Why? Because you're running two loops. Uh, you're running the first loop where you know we will check for the main word that we're checking for and then after that we need to run a second loop where we know well keeping in mind that later then we got to check all the other ones to see if it works. So the way that I did it I split the the string into the characters and then the loop is looping through that array of characters uh, and then you know just kind of checking it so it checks if the character um is the same as the second character like if the character in this in the first loop so the letter we're looking for is the sec same thing as the character in the second loop which is the second loop that it's going through like for the rest of the words then you're returning that character and if it's if that's not the case if you can't find it then you're gonna return no but again the long the bigger the the uh the string the slower it's gonna be and this goes with also different types of data models so if you have let's say a humongous database that you gotta go through uh there's quicker ways usually to go about it um, so what's the second way the second way uh, I coded right here so it's basically using uh, an array 
uh, they sometimes they call it a hash table uh, for other languages, but in this case we're just using an array. And what we do in that, with that in in this function is we're only going to go through the string once. We're still going to break it up, uh, you know, into single characters, but we're only going to go through it once. And what we're going to do is each time that we see a character, we're going to add it to the array. So let's say for the letter A, for the letter B, for you know whatever. So by the time, you know, it keeps going letter by letter by letter, but if it hits a letter that it's the same, then you can go and check, you know, because before adding it to the array, you can check if there's that letter in the array. And if it's not, then you add it, but if it's there, then you know that that's the second instance, uh, and then you can return that letter. Um, and if you don't find that, then, um, you can just return no, like if the letter doesn't exist. So in here is pretty much, you know, if it is in there, then you return the character. If it's not, then you add the character to the array. Uh, and it just keeps going through that array, but it's only one time instead of one extra loop for each single letter. If, if I hope that you understand that. So in this one, it just goes letter by letter by letter by letter. And on this lower one, it goes letter. And then it goes through all the other letters, then checks the second letter, then it goes through all the, the, the letters and so forth and so forth. So this is a way quicker solution. And of course we got to test it. So in this case, we're testing the string ABCA. Let's go back to Google Chrome, and as you can see, uh, both of them are going to give us the string of A. Um, if we change it, for example, if we do something like this one, then we should get C in there. We're going to save it, and then I'm going to refresh. So here we go. So it is working, and then just one last one. Let's try ABC to make sure that it's going to give us null. And then we're going to refresh it and there we go that's no so that's pretty much how you answer that question i hope that it helped to help you out uh, again we're just answering uh technical questions but using php uh sometimes they use it uh, for uh, job applications for you know google interviews facebook interviews a lot of different ones of course normally it's not in this language but if your specialty is php like me it's always fun to know how to do it all right. I hope that helped you out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment box below. If you like the video, please do subscribe to the channel and give it a big thumbs up. And if you need any help with any of your development services, please do feel free to reach out. You can find more information at interactiveutopia.com. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.